guys, so I didn't record anything last night because of the fact that a terrible accident happened last night to one of my people in my family, like a friend of the family. Um, two young kids, which were one of the close like family person, uh, around 17, got hit from behind on a side street near, right behind a school. And the car was had to have been going fast because he's not that big of a person he's very small and the person that ran them over was a pizza delivery guy looking for a house number not looking at the road and hit him and his friend his friend has a broken leg and uh, um, a bruised or fractured elbow or something and he got hit so hard, the one that's the family friend, got hit so hard that he landed face first, I believe. Hit the car, hit landed face first, and there was a lot of blood, there it was a really bad scene. My uncle was sure that he had broken a lot of bones. So while they were on the scene, that we went there and there was about four ambulances and a fire truck, and we were like, whoa, because my brother got a call from his friend, the other one that got a broken leg, and he was he was just crying, but he wasn't like hysteric or anything, and he just said that, oh, blah blah, just got hit by a car, and said I gotta go, and then my brother was like, is this a joke? Was he laughing? But obviously he was crying, because it's a very serious matter. Um, so we went and fled to the scene with all the family, and he got might flooded, but it was raining last night, so he drove on the highway, flew him to Mass General Hospital. He got put into an induced coma for head trauma. They were sure that he had fractured his skull because it became so swollen, and he has huge gashes that needed to be done with stitches. Um, so last night they tried taking him out of the coma after seeing if... Um, if he had any bones broken, nothing, no bones broken, nothing, no internal, like, bruising or anything. But then when they tried to take him out of the coma, because they put him in as soon as they could because it was so bad, he has, br he has blood in between the skull and the brain, and he's not coming out of the coma. Um, he is, oh, he's now today, um, I guess, bleeding a little from the ears and... He is responding when you say, like, grab my hand and squeeze it if you can hear me or something. He is, like, responding weakly, but that's a good sign because he's coming out of it, but he's not completely out of it like he should have been. So, I'm off to work. I work 11 to 5. It's 10.30 right now, and I'm on call for 6 to 11. And if I don't work 6 to 11, I'm going to read a whole lot and worry about him. So, what a wonderful day! Stressful, and it makes me scared to even walk across the street. And he was walking on the side of the street when it happened, so it just makes you, like, that's really scary. So, on that note, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Before all this happened last night, I did get my eyebrows done and got my nails done. Yeah, so coming from like a pretty good day while I was getting my nails done, Matt decided to walk around the mall and go to Best Buy and then they have these like recliner chairs that massage you. So while I was getting pampered, he was getting pampered. It was kind of funny, but yeah. Off to work I go. Hey guys, so I'm out of work. Um, my cousin's actually doing a lot better. He is just moving his hands and stuff and coming out of the medically induced coma, so hopefully he will be better. But now I have to read a whole lot for homework. So, let the marathon of reading until I fall asleep begin.